ECNR. Sure. Sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal.
U.S. Radio News. I'm Lowell Harris. God Save the Queen is the British national anthem, but as of today, Londoners are singing a new song. God, We Love Those Spitfires may be the more popular song now, as British Spitfire fighter planes have finally taken hey, uh, out a key Nazi factory. interested in factory, buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? After no problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Menace, Sounds good to me. Sigh of relief now that the Royal Air Force appears to have severely crippled the Nazi terror for the foreseeable future. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Let yeah, all right. Snow. I'm good with that. All right, here Let you go. Snow, and keep your mouth snow, shut about this, all right? Sure thing, buddy. It'll be our secret. It better be. World War II and Empire Bay. You can make a difference. Your old scraps of metal are more valuable than you think. Every day, new military equipment must be manufactured for the war effort, and the metal used to make it is in scarce abundance. But you can help change hey, that uh, by donating your you in the market for some surplus gas stamps? Sure. Where'd you get them? Uh, on second thought, I don't even want to know. Smart man. All right, now fork over the dough. Remember, yeah, all right. Just hope I don't get in trouble for this. Don't worry about it. Just keep your mouth shut. All right, that's the last of them. Thanks,
Jeez. Look at this. Didn't know Joe could even write. We got another job. Something really big. Stop by Freddy's tonight. Bring a piece and some lockpicks. In the Philippines, United States troops fighting alongside local guerrilla forces have begun taking back the Pacific nation's capital from its Japanese captors. U.S. forces have completely encircled the sprawling city and are now facing a Japanese occupation force estimated to be 20,000 strong. Early reports have already indicated that this could be one of the bloodiest battles yet seen in the Pacific. More on this story as the information comes in and, hopefully, the Japanese are pushed out of Manila. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. <laughs> hey, look who's here. Where the hell you been? Laying around in bed all day. Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. Just for now. When Alberto hears about this, the shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, I heard you didn't score too big last night. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. All right, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back working for peanuts down at the docks. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we talked about what? yesterday? In a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! <laughs> Some kind of fucking charity here. Do it now. Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store. He's not paying it back fast enough. We're gonna collect his payment tonight in jewels. Plus uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry stores in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night, so all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why is everything gotta be so fucking complicated yeah. with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light bulb. Look, button. don't worry, I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Fair enough, let's go. All right, we're gonna rob this fuck blind. All we gotta do is wait until dark. Hey, so how'd it go with the port?
Vito, open this door. What the hell is this? Come on, boys. The cops will be here any minute. Move it! Ryan fucking O'Neill? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard, what the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? <laughs> You're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here fuck for you. Fuck off, fatso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here in one piece, you'd better hand yeah, over yeah, everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. Ten thirty-one reported at the West Side Mall. Repeat, ten thirty-one. Burglary this in progress. This is car fifty-four. We're on it. And I suggest you get lost before the cops show up. Ah, fuck! Kiss my the ass. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Gotta get the fuck out of here. What the hell are you waiting for? Get him, lads! Ryan, what about the cops? Screw the fuck! Get out of here! Do it! Try it! Shit! Ah. Yes, when I open this door. Keep those assholes off my back. Almost got it. Hold them off, just a little more. Come on, you piece of shit. Open up. Okay. Right. We're out of here. Vito, come on. Freeze! Police! There's no way out! Dead end. <laughs> we gotta go this way, it's our only yeah. shot. We got no choice. I ain't going to the joint. Get your ass over here. You waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Over there! Shoot! Shit! Jesus, be careful. Almost lost you there. Yeah. I think I just shipped myself. Where'd they go? They must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh, fuck that. I don't get paid enough for this. This way. This should take us to the street. Freeze! 
Police! There's no way out! Almost got it. Hold him off just a little longer. Okay. Beat up. Come on. Henry's never gonna believe this. Stupid bastards. Let's go. Look at the Irish, my <laughs> Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill. Crazy Mick bastard. Not too bright. Usually works his hired muscle. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Shit, the cops. Come on, get out of the light. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Don't worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there. All units, code green, back to the station.
ANR Empire Central Radio. I'm Richard Foxbury with a tune that's sweeping the nation from our own Empire Bay to the West Coast and back again. If you listen... I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. So what's this? Well, uh, hot off the ECNR news desk, ladies and gentlemen, but we have a breaking news story in, involving a shooting at... Yes, it appears at the West Side Mall. Not much in the way of details, here, folks. Forgive me as I go through it. Oh, well, it, it appears that the police have exchanged gunfire with unknown suspects. Uh, arrests have been made. I repeat, arrests have been made. But all Empire Bay residents, for their own safety, are advised to steer clear of the area until the police have completed their investigation. We'll have more on this important story as we receive the details. I'm Richard Foxberry on Empire Central Radio, ECNR. And now, back to the music. You are regular programming on EZLA, Empire Classic Radio.
Hey there, handsome. Uh, hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you had passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm, maybe next time, doll. Bye. Huh. That was something. Where you belong. Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. You smacked up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Hey, pal, knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word, and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really gotta get going. Mmm, you'll like it, I promise. I gotta get going now. I'll see you around. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you too on a job well done. Salute. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh, I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure. Uh, what next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just cause someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it.
<laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the Krauts, right? You know, the bad guys. guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand apiece. That's a fucking fortune! Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys there. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's Henry's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I, I, I... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well... Somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. We could get you anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal.